Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4. This episode I would like to do a few things. One I'd like to do is see if we can get a raid going on here because this village should be nicely protected now. And we'll have a quick look at that. And then I'd also like to go and find an, a fortress to go to the end. I found one, very unusual fortress I have to be honest with you. And the third thing I'd like to do is I'd like to show you a very dangerous mob spawner. It actually killed me last time. Well, I was in between episodes, it killed me. So let's go and have a look at the, the protection here, first of all. So what I've done is I've built a moat, a dry moat, all the way around this at level 61, which is three blocks below anything around here. I've lit up the whole of the village, including the top of the houses, so there should be no spawning of mobs anywhere except for uh, where I want them to spawn. <laughs> So let's go back to base because there's a raiding party at home at the moment. So um, that's what we can do. So let's just do that first of all. Can I put the boat down here? It's kind of good. Can I get in it? Yes. In fact, it's coming up to night time. I think the raiding party will still be there. And also, we could have another look at ore excavation because I figured out something that was confusing me for a while. Um, and that's how to set it out where you actually hit the hit point. Uh, I was thinking the hit point would be dead easy to find, but it's actually not. This time we're going around this side of the this little island and coming to base that way. Also between episodes I've picked up all of the mob spawners that were in the caves that I've found, plus a few others. Some of them are actually interesting. I found what did I find? Something a drowned um mob spawner anyway they'll pick them all up and they're ready here to go and that's a nice little one white thing now i guess that the raiding party is somewhere about here so maybe they disappeared i don't mind if they have done <laughs> i will be honest with you there's some mobs over here i can't hear them for now i can hear the um i can i can see the i can see the trader and some spiders no no nothing really exciting down here they'll be back no doubts about it i've also in here put, changed a little bit around here i put in some i moved some stuff around i moved these chests around made them all to be diamond and i put in here a um controller so storage controller so i get some stuff out of my inventory when i'm when i come back from base so what i've got here of course yes i've got these six some more mob drops most of the mob drops i've put into here or the ones with large numbers there's a few down here not that many now what else i've got in here bits of wood and a stick in fact i'd like to put one of those sticks into here let's just do it like this probably the quickest way because i've got some fire glass and i've just made some torches so let's take one more of these out of there put this into here to get get some stuff going i've also made some uh, crystallized amber because i'd like to do some crafting with you today and if we have a look at i've actually got these ancient tombs as well because i found the fortress and you'll see that all of these are fairly good um i'm absolutely not sure how to use them to in this really i thought you had to combine them with a an item and you got the enchant but maybe you have to combine them with a book let's put them into here for the time being with the other books and i was also going to show you this one as well a Pris prismatic cobweb from apotheosis and the uses of this one, it tells you you can remove a disenchant at the at the cost of 30 um, XP. So let's actually have got a very good sword in here, which with a really bad enchant. Uh, it's the one with life mending on it. It's this one here. This one will basically kill you if you use it. And of course, you really would like to use it because it's a very strong sword with um, 10 on it. So let's have a look. Let's just dis let's just remove this enchant. So you've got life mending three. And that's the intent, and that disappears. Great. It costs 30, 30 XP to do that. Oh, yes, I can turn off this now as well. I don't need that on at the moment. Oops. With the bags in your hand, sometimes you open, open the bag instead of open what you want to do. Right, okay. So let's have a look at some of the, the uses of this. I also found a heart of diamond that came from a stone, a stoneling, I think they're called. And the, the heart of the diamond, what that did is um it just drops it but i don't understand how that, that that mechanism yet let me just get rid of this wood as well wood's down here now wooden sticks 
I can remove this out of the way. I was using those to climb up because they're so easy to break when you're coming down again. Right, let's have a look at the uses of this. Crystallized amber. We've made this before, so it's it's fairly useful. Oh, we've got a climbing wheel. Maybe that would actually not be a bad thing to make because we haven't got a chute. Um, but the one I do want to make, I've made one of these in the end the reusable ender pearl. A wither charm. I haven't got any wither roses yet. I'm not sure where they come from. Probably have to grind the wither to get those. And then you get these two ender wings prime and ender wings. Um, not quite sure what the difference except for an eye of ender is. So presumably allow you to fly a bit. Teleport to oh to your personal space and to your world. Okay, very useful. But this one I think is going to be very useful. Avoid avoid charm. So we can make a void charm, and we can also make another one of these. You see, we make XP parlance, that's what I made. I didn't actually put that one out, that episode, but it's very handy. And then you've got an Ender Orb Translocator. Now this one is actually a duplicate recipe. If you look down here to the previous one here, it's a, this is the same recipe as this. Ender Eye, three gold petals. I think that's exactly the same. So when you make it, I don't know which one it chooses <laughs> in fact it always chooses the red one and there was another one that would probably be quite useful a fire charm blaze rods and blocks of iron okay let's do those two so one needed three pieces of end stone which we've already got as it happens that's two plus one um another one needed four blaze rods and nether wart so the blaze rods will be here Oh, I did make a blaze seed, by the way. Because I went to the, the nether fortress and f with two fire um, potions, I managed to get fill up those four uh, canisters that you require for doing that. What did I want from in here? Blaze rods and nether wart here. So we need four of these, I think. Is it four or three? I think we need some feathers. We've got plenty of feathers. Let's take a stack. And let's make these two things up in here. So let's go back to the uses of that. So we would like to make a void charm. And we'd also like to make uses of that one. If I go back the other way, it'd probably be quickest. A fire charm. Oh, blocks of iron is what I'm missing. Three blocks of iron. I think I've already got a couple of here. Oh, actually, I've already got three. So we can use, do the uses of that again. Go backwards. Obviously, I could craft these, and because uh, I could do the. Uh, I could craft them on here anyway, the storage request table. I tend not to. Now, can we put any of these charms into our bauble slot? Let's have a look. Oh, you can put one of those in. No, and you can't put the other one in. I think that probably goes into the same slot as this one. So we've got void protection. And we've also got fire protection. And fire and lava protection. Both are very useful. So now I'm going to go down into here. First of all, I'm going to transfer some markers I got from the previous, uh, from between episodes. Let's have a look at doing that first of all. Um, I need to go to, oh no, I want to press Y, don't I? I want to get to waypoints here. And then I want to do options and I want to transfer. And I'm going to transfer them from the previous episode, end of the last episode, dimension zero to here. And I should have got some more. Where do we see them? Oh yes, here we go. <laughs> Latest death and a couple of rows of danger and danger, and there should also be a fortress marked in here. I don't see it at the moment. We'll probably find it somewhere. So th those three are down here. We're going to have a look at those first. That mine shaft I can get rid of. Don't need that one. X marks the spot. Base and death with 152 blocks away. So I'll go down and find that, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, not very far away now. And these, these red sandstone things, generally represent a mini a mini boss from Apotheosis. How uh, do I get down from here? Let's go down this way. 57 blocks, and I think I have to go through this path. Oops, right, shiver away. 39 blocks away, and I think the other one is over there. And this is the one I want, I think, is the top one. Oh, no, can't get through that. I 
I've been quiet. The reason I've been quiet is it's actually very dangerous. I will be honest with you. And if you've never seen these before, it caught me out completely. Oh, where have I got to get to get that one? Tell you what, I'll come back in a few seconds. If I haven't found it immediately. Oh yes, here we go, look. Road to danger. And that's it there. You can see that there's a spawner up there. And beside the spawner is actually a a skeleton so I don't want to go this way I want to go from the other from the other side of this so I can get him now I'll leave the skeleton don't really bother about that if I get too near it will explode into a mass of mobs and that's really not very handy <laughs> now I need to go through this way somehow or other I've forgotten how to get there no nope, I can't do it that way Where's the other one? It is this way. What one of them drops down on top of it, and the other one comes from below. And the one I want, obviously, is the one that drops down on top of it. If I can find it, that is. Ah, oh, here we go. Might be up here. Let's just move some blocks out of the way. Uh -huh. Where is it now? Danger. All right, here. When I get within about six blocks of this, it's going to explode. So let's just see if we can. I've got some stuff with me here that might help. I've got a bucket of lava. So we could put down a bucket of lava, uh, go near it and then put down a bucket of lava. Let's try that, shall we? I would actually, uh, there is another way to do it. Actually, I can reach it with this pickaxe. I can reach it with three, but I want to show you what happens. And hopefully I don't die in the process of this one. It's allowing me to get very close. <laughs> Let's just put down a torch. Which is that? That's the sharpness five one. Okay, let's just put down a torch around about here, and let's go a bit nearer. Yep, there it goes. Let's just put down the lava here and get out of the way, and run backwards as fast as we can because that's what happens. <laughs> as you can see, they're chasing me like crazy, and I've got to just get out of their way as fast as I can, and hopefully they will disappear. Now I'm in a safe place to fight these guys if they come back. Oh, there's a slime there. Oh, yes, you can see the cave spiders up there. We'll get rid of them. The only ones that matter with these are this, the big ones, aren't they? The rest of them don't really care about. Or the medium sized ones. So we can, we can easily grind these guys. How many slime balls we get from this lot? Well, that was easy. <laughs> so, I'm off back to this danger point here. As you can hear, there are also mobs around here now. One up there. So, where are they? I can see on the minimap that they are probably in f that way. Where's my marker? There. Okay, I've got to go this way in that case. Did I not come back this way? I ran so fast I couldn't remember where I ran from. <laughs> well, that's a derpy thing to do, isn't it? Oh yes, there we are. I'm just surprised my bow isn't working so well as it should be. Well, I don't see anybody else around here so much. Of 
because that's where I put down the lava bucket which we'll pick up now because we probably don't need that anymore probably did prevent all of those mobs and I think most of them actually disappeared which is very good I'm happy about that I will be honest with you it's that lapis lazuli and I'll just take that with me as well obviously I haven't been here before because there's no you can see there's no torches down here um, but these mines are just incredibly huge and dirt patches represent some stuff normally so I'll be careful on the last torch I'll put down here I can hear the spider where has it gone to right never mind we shall go back and I shall see you back at base right back in daytime and I basically cleared out my inventory so what I'd like to show you now is a little bit more about ore excavation I was thinking about a good place to do this and uh, maybe over here somewhere probably some maybe a mob around but maybe not so what we have here is some stone a bit of a mess I think this has been creeping by the looks of it <laughs> I don't think it was me normally it is so let's have a look at the ore excavation thing or excavator so there's different patterns so that you can program your own so let's look at first of all creating a new one we've got a three by one so you add a new one just by clicking the plus button here and it gives you this three by three pattern so for example if you wanted to uh, do a horizontal line of three by three if you left right click it right clicking is the point this white cross is the point of the corner that you want to dig in so for instance if you want to do it like this and then we want to have a now let's move it up to the middle here and then left click these and you can left click them on or off like this so when you dig i'm going to dig a three or excavate it's going to excavate a three slice like that and it's going to start with the left hand side so for example if i want to or excavate this lot down here i just hold down the or excavation button and we have to first of all select it of course that would be um sensible <laughs> i'm not sure i gave it a name excavate shape slice three by one new shape so we hold this down like this and it'll excavate just that as you saw it doing just what we just did just demonstrated quite neat really so you can do it any way you like so that's the flat one for example if i want to do a vertical one of three by three i've got it already programmed so we'll look at that one too i actually have a i want i have one called slice which is five by five and it allows me to dig <coughs> Actually, I don't know, let's be honest, I don't know what happens if I do this, for example. Let's just see what happens. So that's below the point, wasn't it? So what happens if you or excavate that? <laughs> well, that didn't help very much, because I didn't change the pattern, did I? Let's just, get, oops, now I've just pressed the plus button, and that gives me a temporary waypoint. Let's just get rid of the waypoint. I don't want it. Uh, delete for the time being. Try that again. So let's do that here. So we have to set it up. Let's first of all, give, we have to give the things a name, haven't we? So that, otherwise, we don't know what I'm doing. Slice three by three. This is a one by three, like that. Um, which was the one I changed? Oh, it's a one by three. A th that's a one by three, and that's a three. But what happened to my last digit there? Did you notice that three by one? Okay. I wonder if I have to press tab. Yes, I can press tab. Let's go back and check that. Yes. So this is now underneath this. So we want a 1 by 3. So we select it. 1 by 3. So then it should dig up these three bar blocks above it. Well, let's go down to this one here and do it on that. No, it didn't do anything. Oh, yes, it did. It broke away that a lot, didn't it? I think it did, didn't it? Yeah, so let's try it over here. Yes, it breaks the first block where you hit it, and then the rest of it gets mined above it. Very useful. I would better put that back again as it happens, otherwise it's... That's a typical tunnel pattern. It's just tunnel at the top. Slice. Let's move this one to the... Um, let's move it to the bottom here. Left click and right... Right click it and left click it. That's what I wanted to do. And that one probably wants to be in the middle as well. So let's right, right click it to the middle. So there we go. So that's my ore excavation tip for you. Now over here, about 2,000 blocks away, 
there is a fortress. It's north east. So I shall be, I shall just trundle over there and I'll see you when I'm there. See you in a short while. Well it's probably about the only biome in on the journey that's actually unusual. This is a dark forest from uh, Dreadcraft. Uh, I don't know what's special about it, but you get these enormous dark wood trees up here in the heat. And you get quite a few of these um, stones as well, cobble, uh, mossy, mossy cobblestone. There's lots of those around in this one. Anyway, I haven't got too far to go to about another thousand blocks. From about, I'm about halfway there. So I'll see you in a few seconds. I'm here. And as you can see, there's a. I made a way down, you can see the bricks with the thing. I reckon that I, I picked up some junk when I was on my way because I was, went past uh, some wolves and we were killing a sheep. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put down this grave, I think. Like, let's put it down here. And that'll take about half an hour and then that'll get some a spirit on it and we should be able to get out with this one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a bucket of water. I've got some buckets of water with me. Put this one running down here, I think. Let's put it down there. Oh, it's going to cross both. I don't really want to go across both. We'll just get another bucket of water in case we, we need. That would only pick up something else. Ah, oh, some ink sacks. Okay. So we can just jump, jump down there. We can also come back that way. Because we've got our armour on it, we've got permanent water breathing. So that's no big deal whatsoever. Um, I want to think about doing a respawn. Oh, I know what we'll do. We'll do it near the place. In fact, the room in this particular... Oh, let's press shift. I can go down faster, can't I? If I press shift, it drop down really reasonably fast. And you see that's where the water is. So this is the stronghold here. Um, which way is the entrance? Down here, look. And I have lit up this whole area. But I just heard a mob coming around here like that. <laughs> now, <laughs> the entrance to this is in a strange place, and for some reason, and I don't fully understand this, when I saved the waypoints, they didn't go into this dimension, they went into the nether dimension, which I don't fully understand. But you can see I've lit up a large area here, like this. And I think we just have to keep going down, around and around and around, and eventually we'll find the, the room. But I can tell you one thing, <laughs> it's an uh, interesting room, not that way. As you can see, there's a, a, a lot of different ways through this particular um, mansion. And the, uh, I've already picked this as one of the chests I found, so that's that one. I broke away all the iron doors. Oops, not that way. Maybe this way. I'm not 100% sure. Tell you what I'll do. I'll see you in a few seconds. When I actually, I'm not far away as it happens. I know because I built these tunnels here. But let's go down and have a look at this tunnel. You'll see what I'm talking about. I think it's this tunnel. Ah, yes, I've got night visions off. There's a great big lava lake, and there, as you can see, I've stoned it. I've walled it in. Is the um the portal so it was just in the middle of this lava lake here uh, really sort of really ridiculous <laughs> it didn't take too long to find so I had to basically pin my way horizontally that is uh, across to the across to the portal hopefully find it here you can see the path what should have been the tunnel in fact this is the top of the tunnel as you can see I'm not even, I'm not 100% sure if this is safe. That's why I made the portal. And he was there as well last time. I don't know what that creature is. And there's also an evoker. I think this is an evoker down here that's in the lava. <laughs> I don't know how he survives that. But he was here last time I was here, so I may have to deal with these things. So let's just put in the last three um, ender pearls and clear out my inventory a bit. So. At the moment, I'm using the big bag for the stuff that I probably would like to. Uh, big bag. No, we'll use the blue. We'll use the blue one. Just get rid of the, the leather. Oh yes, that came from the animals. Saplings. I got some. Picked up some thumbs, but that was deliberate. Slime box. Probably 
don't need, I'm not sure if I need these or not. I've got bottles, I've got some lava buckets, I've got a water bucket, uh, two water buckets actually. I've got various swords, I've got some white wool which I don't need. That was from the, oh we can put that up there can't we. Um, and I think that's basically everything. Put a stick out the oh, way, I don't need that either, that was something else. Quick sort that inventory, I don't need the ink sacks, that's definite. Probably don't need that. So let's put this in. One thing I haven't done, you will have noticed, or may have noticed, is I have not built a jetpack. And that's sort of deliberate. There we go. So I'm going to jump into this. I think I'm going to do that next episode. So until next time, when we shall attack and try and defeat the Ender Dragon, I'll see you then. Bye for now.